Hey guys, this is Pivot Master, and now for for my next tops, this is going to be my top seven companies to cross over the Capcom. Yes, there's another top seven. Wow, imagine I think it might end up being doing more top sevens instead of top fives. But again, because you know, because the subject critical usually does top eleven, so I might not do top sevens. Or well, whatever. Okay, so have you heard of, of us this crossover with Sega, Nanko, and Capcom? Well, initially people thought it's going to be another fi new fighting game with, with all three of them at once. Which, to be honest, this could be all awesome, but it's not. It's an RPG. Oh, and by the way, yes, yeah, it's a crossover, and and I am not kidding when I say this, Mega Man is in it. Oh, yeah. So Capcom has not exactly, you know, forgotten Mega Man. However, Mega Man, well, technically Mega Man X, is in this game. Called Project X Zone. So, yeah. yeah so, you know... Apparently, Capcom has not forgotten Mega Man, just does, don't want him in their future games, and the fact that, I think that from what I heard, uh, the creator of Capcom just left, the creator, creator of uh, Mega Man left Capcom, or something about it, I don't know, I could just leave something there, to, uh, if I'm wrong or not. Okay, well, whatever. This is me a list of uh, who, who would want to cross over with Capcom in a new fighting game. It has to be a fighting game, so not, not something like this. This is, this is an RPG. Okay. So, who do we want to start with? Number seven, Nintendo. Yes, Nintendo is at the bottom of this list, really because the only thing on the bottom, uh, even, even, you know, let's consider are Square Enix and Konami, and I don't think they would work well. Thing is that um, Nintendo, yes, it has lots of company, yes, it has lots of little side companies under its belt, and a lot, therefore lots of characters. However, the thing is that um, I don't know if Nintendo, Nintendo is ready for a a true fighting game, and yes, I know about Smash Brothers, but I'm talking about Capcom Fighter, so or or not like Capcom Fighter, it's uh, an arcade fighter. Yeah, I should specify that it's an arcade fighter, not. But uh, still, an arcade fighter. Nintendo hasn't really been into this, so I'm not sure whether or not I should, uh, want its characters to be in a, 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 a um, an arcade fighter. Besides, we have Smash Brothers, so that's good. Hey, speaking of that, have you have you heard of a of a Smash Bros. ripoff? That's wow. Okay, number six, real life. I am not kidding. Imagine like real life characters, like I don't know, take a take a person you know real life and then put them against Capcom characters. That'd be really hilarious. Um, maybe maybe like like uh, people who already died, like Hitler versus Akuma or something. <laughs> that would be hilarious. <laughs> or. or um, a good, good example, how about the, I don't know, George W. Bush versus Ken. That would be hilarious. <laughs> okay, okay, I, I know the license of the easy people are just ridiculous, but the fact that, would you want to see your your, your least favorite real life character or something go up and get, go up and get a, a giant Hadouken in the face? <laughs> that, would, that, would, that would be hilarious. I, 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 really, I really enjoy that. Yeah. It would be funny if Mega Man was in it. That will be, be awesome. Number five, DC Comics. Same because Marvel did it, and DC vs. Uh, Mortal Kombat's DC Universe. Uh, I don't know. I, I've heard it's not as good as other Mortal Kombat's. But, uh, imagine DC vs. Capcom. That, that was, let's say, uh, imagine if the Capcom characters in that game would, like, reference Marvel, and then DC, uh, no, no, don't mention this. This is a different, different, uh, universe altogether. That would be really weird, but... Uh, I would really want to enjoy so I would want to enjoy seeing this. Number four. Okay, this, this is weird. Okay, uh, the Nicktoons or the Cartoon Network cartoons. Yeah, Nickelodeon or Cartoon Network versus Capcom. Out of the t either of the two, not both. Okay, here. We, okay, I'm gonna give my um, reasons of why. Okay. Uh, imagine imagine like Zero versus Samurai Jack. That would be awesome. <laughs> I already want to. I really want to see like that in action, or maybe uh, one of the pop of girls with a stride or hurt you. I don't know. Like just, I just, I just think of random stuff on top of my head. Yeah, you, you get where I'm going with this. It's just um, really ridiculous. Or um, someone from Nickelodeon. Like I don't care whatever that person is versus some other Capcom character. Seriously, the, the, the idea was just ridiculous, and I really like to see something like that. So it'd probably be like really funny, um, lots of joke characters in it. 
It'd be funny if Roll was in it. That would be like, gone with got uh, got got lots of jokes in this um really awesome really awesome looking game or whatever. Number three, Shonen Jump, meaning Naruto, One Piece, Bleach, uh, some other Shonen Jump game, but you, a Shonen Jump series, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, those mangas. Maybe we could have maybe we could have like cut seeds on on um manga base. Or something like Tatsunoko, they did Tatsunoko with anime based, and then you could pull like manga based with uh, Shonen Jump. I, I, I don't know if like all the um, individual one, all the individual manga are like different companies or something, I don't care, but that'll be interesting. Which, by the way, isn't Yu Gi Oh! part of Shonen Jump? Because I don't know, to be honest. Uh, whatever. But, but seriously, imagine this. I would like to see uh, Shonen Jump character versus. Whatever, maybe we could have um, Naruto versus Luffy, and then maybe uh, some other Captain character, or, like I, like I care. Number two, Nipponichi Software. I don't know. I just feel like the two should cross over. And that's this thing. I just feel like the two bond together. I mean, I would, I would actually do like to see a Captain character versus any the Sky Gang. I mean, if it, if it was on Nipponichi, I definitely would say the the Sky the the Sky trio. Versus whatever Capcom character they throw in, that would be awesome. I would like to say that would be that would be pretty really awesome. I just feel I just feel like they belong together. And number one, okay, this is probably an obvious answer. Okay, not really an obvious answer, but you go with this. Disney, why Disney? Well, if, well, since Marvel's owned by Disney, they're gonna if they're gonna make a new future Marvel's Capcom games, they're gonna have to go through Disney anyway. So why not just go all the way with um. Some more Disney exclusive characters, like some of the Tron series, or uh, maybe you could add Aladdin or uh, Mulan. Whatever, I don't care. Uh, yeah, this is really that would be pretty, pretty cool. But then again, actually, no, nah, no, nah, never mind. Because uh, I was thinking of uh, adding guys from uh, Kingdom Hearts, but I think I'm not sure whether it was Square Enix or Disney also. Uh, at least one of the two, or maybe they're just both co-combined. And if so, probably going to add, add Square Enix to the mix and just add Kingdom Hearts characters. That would be that would be pretty cool. Okay, uh, with with I uh, so don't forget what I was going to say next. I might as well end, end this tops episode off. So so yeah, I'll see you guys later for the next tops episode. What it is? Oh, you'll find out soon enough. Later.